So who says you can't have corned beef in October? This is one of the spares that I bought back in March and stuck in the freezer for days just like this. I want some corned beef. So here it is. And since I can never leave anything alone, I'm going to do some experimenting with it. First order of business is to wash it. Rinse out as much of the salt, the brine solution as you can. Pat it dry. Go away. And then, on your custom high-tech racks, you place it in a roasting pan, thusly. And now at this point, I'm departing from the norm. I'm going to take it out to the grill and smoke it. Not for the whole cook, just for about an hour just to get some smoke infused into it and I think I'm going to use hickory see you out at the grill the drill is the same as usual get the smoke going set the meat in Now I'm going to smoke it just like this for only about an hour of the cook. At about 275 degrees. We'll check back later. I'm using a different Maverick temperature probe this time. This one is in two pieces. This is a transmitter. It stays out here with the grill and it's weatherproof. This is the receiver and I take it in the house where it's air conditioned. Now the cool thing about this is that inside the air conditioned house, anywhere in the house, I can keep track of the grill temperature without having to go out there and look at it. And it also has a second probe, which will let me monitor the meat temperature. I don't have it hooked up yet. I'll add it later on in the cook. So after an hour of smoke, I pull it out, do a little doctoring. First, drizzle on a little mustard. Quiet out there. I'm making a video. And I cut open the little packet that always comes with the things. Sprinkle that randomly in there. Smush it all around a little. Top it with maybe another teaspoon or so of cracked black. And just for the fun of it, a little granulated garlic. Now I'm going to add, painfully, oh maybe about a half a beer saving at least a little bit for me. And now, seal it up tightly in aluminum foil. trying not to burn yourself on the dish because it is a little warmish.
and back on the grill. Now at this time, I'm going to add the meat probe so I can monitor the meat temperature. About thusly. And I will crank it up to about 325 and cook it for three more hours. So now back in the house and anywhere I go, the Maverick is telling me the cooking temperature and the internal meat temperature. Corned beef is done and it's rested and it's time to take a look. Let's see what's in there. Looks like corned beef to me. I can't wait any longer. Come to me. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. the hickory smoke gives it a whole new dimension. I love it already. Time to get this on a plate. Serve it with a few deviled eggs. A little kale on the side tossed with uh, wine vinegar and sesame seed. And of course the obligatory champagne. And it's time for piggery. Do excuse me.